The family of Tyree Nichols is demanding that Memphis police release their body cam footage of the stop that landed him in the hospital in critical condition. Tyree died from the injuries that he received at the hand of police during a traffic stop. The Memphis Police Department and Tennessee Bureau of Investigation launched investigations into the action of officers involved in a traffic stop arrest of Tyree Nichols, who later died. And they have taken, quote, immediate and appropriate action against them as they said they would, according to a release from the city. Here are the five officers that were terminated after they violated multiple department policies, including excessive use of force, duty to intervene, and duty to render aid. Nichols died January 10th three days after his family believes he was beaten by police during a traffic stop. Memphis police are releasing few details, but they say that on the night of January 7th, officers attempted to pull the car over, which led to two confrontations. The second after the driver tried to flee. Once under arrest, police said the suspect complained of shortness of breath and was taken to the hospital by ambulance. The initial statement did not indicate force was used. This photo provided by Nichols' stepfather shows Tyree in his hospital bed badly bruised. Now, as was alluded to earlier, city officials said the video will be released publicly after the police department's internal investigation ends, which already happened, and after the family is given a chance to review the recording. And I wanted to take this time in order to get out ahead of the video, even before we see it, to say that the police lie all the time. Not just about the details which lead to fatal police encounters, but according to a study that came out a year and a half ago, police lie about whether they've killed someone at all. The fact that these five officers were already fired, to me, either indicates that this body cam footage is about to be damning or these black officers are expendable. Could be both. If there's anyone out there thinking that there will be no media attention because these killer cops aren't white, well, I'm talking about it now. I don't know if that makes me media and consider the fact that we typically see a longer drawn out investigation with officers getting paid while on administrative leave wonder what that's about anyways can we get these men charged and convicted oh yeah and a new challenge just dropped in a country like ours i'm eager to find out if those who back the blue will do so when law enforcement is black see in 2022 132 police killings, 11%, were cases in which no offense was alleged. 104 cases were mental health or welfare checks. 98 involved traffic violations and 207 involved other allegations of non-violent offenses. There were also 93 cases involving claims of a domestic disturbance and 128 where the person was allegedly seen with a weapon. Only 370, 31%, involved a potentially more serious situation with an alleged violent crime. What's more, in 32% of cases last year, the person was fleeing before they were killed, generally running or driving off. Cases in which experts say lethal force is unwarranted and also endangers the public. The last part is for the comply or die crowd. We have more fatal police encounters in the United States than any other wealthy country in the world. Black cops can uphold racist systems. Justice for Tyree Nichols. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.